what are the advantages of uh, diving locally? Um, well, first of all, we can discover new dive sites or rediscover sites that we knew but did not visit recently because we were too busy traveling. Um, and I made this experience myself with, uh, with our team. Um, here Dan, we are, we're here in, in, at, at the headquarters in Italy, at the Continental office. Um, we are at about 40 people. And I have to say 80, 85% of them are passionate divers. So we ourselves, we, we, we thought it was a good time to rediscover um, local dive sites. And uh, I'll show you something about that uh, later on. Um, other advantages that I find uh, um, can, be, can be found um, in this situation are, it's an opportunity to try new kits. Um, for example, if in autumn and winter local waters are too chilly, uh, it's a time to focus on dry suit equipment and dry suit training, for example. Other things that can be explored are the use of DPD, so underwater scooters that allow for an extended range of, uh, of exploration and, uh, and are really fun to, 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 to use. Um, other opportunities are related to underwater photography. Even if the waters you, you dive in locally are not crystal clear, are not uh, the best in visibility, there's a number of things you can explore. Uh, even the so-called muddy diving has uh, interesting things. Um, and you can focus on macro, which is fantastic, a fantastic way. Uh, this is also a time when maybe we have partners, we have family members who did not engage in diving activities because we were too busy. Maybe we are instructors ourselves and could teach them and involve them. This could result when um, uh, the frontiers will reopen. This could result in going back together, diving and traveling together. Why not? Other things that could be important, um, that are important, are engaging in conservation. Um, so take any opportunity to, to do local cleanups um, and other conservation efforts. The Project Aware by Paddy is just an example uh, of this. Or engage in uh, uh, something uh, more scientific, um, helping collecting data, so engaging in citizen science uh, projects. Dan Europe also has citizen science projects, so if you want to get know, to get more uh, to get to know more about that, you can visit daneurope.org and see how much we do uh, about scientific research. Another example is uh, exploring documenting and protect, protecting your local habitat uh, through, for example, um, the project ba baseline um, from GUE. That's another great example of citizen science, uh, applied diving. But all these are tips and uh, goodwill. I hope that you uh, get to uh, to do some of them or all of them really uh jason i hear you i'm here jason i can hear you well i go on with the presentation maybe um so the best thing to do, in my opinion, is just not just giving advice, but providing ex examples. 
because actions speak louder than words. This is what I believe. Um, so this is um, a short uh, um, uh, sneak peek into what we Jason. Jason, I can hear you. So about providing an example, uh, this is what we uh, did in the past few weeks uh, here at Dan, what our um, team did. Um, we started to explore local dive sites. We started to, to check out for new opportunities to, to submerge, as I was saying to you. And these are some of the, um, of the images from a couple of uh, great dive sites with, which we uh, explored and intend to explore more in the, in the next few days, um, also with changing colors and with the beauty of autumn. Uh, one is, um, it, it's located in central Italy, um, in the region of Abruzzo. Um, and it's uh, a very beautiful dive site. It, it, it's a very, let's say, wild region. Uh, one third of the whole region is a natural reserve. And inside this natural reserve, you get fantastic rivers, streams, um, and, and, and uh, ponds and lakes. Um, so I'm showing you a video that was uh, taken and that tells the story of this exploration effort that we did together with a nature reserve. There we actually made it. What is nourishing us? As you and me, the answer, pure and simple, is water. Our bodies, not living matter, are made of this, living, dynamic, ever changing, crystal clear. Water is life. The beautiful and spring are an incredible symbol of life. There's something, there's something, uh, not working here. Maybe I have to change the screen. Wait. Maybe this is better. Okay, let's try this way. Sorry. <laughs> It's not sharing, Christian. Actually made of. What is nourishing? Sorry? I'm afraid it's not sharing. Can I just take you through sharing that screen for you? So if you just click on the share button. Are you listening to me, Christian? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, that's sharing it now. Okay. Let's start all over. Sorry. Okay. 
we actually made of as human beings. The answer, pure and simple, is what made of this. Life and beautiful springs are an incredible symbol of life. different species of water birds water trouts That was it. If there's one thing I understood uh, during the pandemic, is that you to do in the town also uh, in your own backyard. I'm happy to start with you um, here or elsewhere. And hopefully, see you soon um, around for the outside. Cheers. <laughs>